Couldn't wait to show you this project. I wanted to have the biggest, baddest RC car ever. So when you're hanging with your buddies, you're out at the dunes, you're at the track, you're on the trail, they got their little RC cars, I got this monster. Weighs 105 pounds. This is part of a 23 video series I put up on YouTube. Got a lot of views, almost a half a million. My whole YouTube channel right now is pushing 1.5, so this is a really big part of it, and I think it's kind of important to show it. What we've got out back here, 10 and a half inches of wheel travel. Check that out. It's got a rear suspension, just like on a four-wheeler. Two packs of batteries. This one drives the main motor, and uh, this is the motor here. It's a 250 watt motor out of a scooter. This pack out back here runs the, uh, the off-road lights. I've got four Pia 004 XTs on it. Man, it lights up the night, it's really cool. Up front, uh, double cantilever suspension, Fox Vanilla R shocks with 850 pound coils on it. That's what it takes to hold this up. Look at that. Double wishbone suspension, got the servo in there. 11 inch burst go-kart wheels and tires. This thing is a monster. Woo! Okay, I didn't really want to show you guys this side of the shop. This is where we store things that we're gonna work on or parts for projects. I watched uh, Ian from Extreme 4x4 explain, you know what, sometimes you got a lot of parts laying around, you're waiting to get a project going. This is where we keep our stuff. But it shows a real eclectic mix of projects. Look what we got going on here. That's an aluminum winner's rear end for a rod project I've got going on. Muncie M20. Honda VTEC motor out of an Accord. That goes in our race car. Look over here, we got carburetors, turbochargers, merge collectors, brakes, drums, lines. All right, so I'm sitting around the shop. I, I got my wagon sitting over in this corner and I got my blaster sitting over in this corner. I go to wagon, blaster, wagon, blaster. Pretty soon I decide I gotta build the biggest wagon you've ever seen. So if you look at this monster, what I did is I put the, uh, the blaster suspension on it, actually two sets of blaster suspension arms on it. It's got 25 inch tires, it's got a 32 inch lift, four wheel independent suspension, four wheel steering. You can haul around four or five people at the fair all afternoon showing off, but I gotta tell you, that thing weighs like an empty car. You're gonna break your back pulling it around, but it's so fun, it's worth every bit of it. Ah, my grave robber project. I was actually really close to getting this thing going until I started drooling over Rockwell military axles. So I started looking for a military six by six to take axles off of. So I picked up the truck, it's sitting in our shop, it weighs 15,000 pounds. I'm not exactly sure how to get the axles off of it. You know, once they're off, what am I gonna do? Pull it out of here on a rope? So I don't exactly know how to dispose of it. But uh, that will be the next project, and I'm really hoping maybe we can scrounge up like a 6.7 liter Ford diesel for that thing. So that'd be pretty cool. This is actually my favorite welder right here, the Miller Dynasty 350, water-cooled TIG torch. My go-to machine, I use it all the time here in the fab table. I love this one because of the Pulse MIG, the 350P, been excellent for us. Bead roller, Bailey 20 inch disc grinder, love it. Uh, the other two Miller welders, we got these set up for various applications. Uh, the 135 here, I use 24 wire in this thing all the time. We leave it set up with 75, 25 argon CO2. Uh, we use this a lot for like body work, sheet metal, uh, small exhaust work, my favorite go-to machine. This is the 175, we tend to leave 30 wire in this one, and we do slightly bigger things with it, flanges, brackets, bigger stuff. Love them both. Over on this side of the shop, we keep a lot of the bigger project stuff. Sandblast cabinet, planishing hammer, English wheel right here, got the Eagle Roll Bender, I love this tool, it's been a lot of fun. Over here, the old Tube Shark, I'm sure you guys recognize that, and the Notcher. This thing has saved us so much time and money, greatest tool ever. Okay, here's a few things I put together from my mailbox, Check the zoomies on that thing, looks like I've got mail. To my refrigerator, and we just powder coated this. Look at the shine on the axle. That actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was gonna. We did that all here. Okay, I've been working on the one you see behind me. This is a 41 Chevy. It's got a 360 Dodge motor in it. We did a uh, six inch chop, a four inch channel in the body, and installed a six inch drop axle in the front that we got from our friends over at Speedway. Uh, out back here, we got a four link with a massive pan hard bar. Look at that monster. I got the door handle shaved right here. You can see it on the passenger side. I've been working on my patina, and I think it's coming along pretty good. The fabrication angle is what got me interested in racing lawnmowers back in 1995. We won 10 national championships on Speed, TNN, and Fox. We worked with some great producers like Steve Moss, and I got to work with David Stanfield, and excellent camera guys like Patrick Wallace. I learned so much from those guys, and I developed a huge respect for what you guys have to do every day, and I appreciate it.
tires before the next round, though. That's a lot on the track. I think they're sweeping some of it off now. Nice burnout.